Good morning. We're right on today. Got plenty of sound. Good to have you in church this morning. We welcome you. Looking forward to a good service. A beautiful day outside. I understand that maybe next week we may be in for another snowstorm, which is fine. But uh, we'll take whatever the Lord gives us. Let's stand together and sing this good old song, We Have Come Into His House and Gathered in His Name. Stand with me, would you? Join in on the first verse. Join right in. We have come into His house and gathered in His name to worship Him. Concentrate on Him and worship Christ the Lord. Worship Him, Christ the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. <clears throat> Let's sing together, I exalt Thee, and the words will be up on the screen. For the singing. We've changed our order of service around a little bit this morning. We're glad to have the Braddies visiting with us, and we want to give them as much time as we can. And I don't know if Mrs. Brady preaches, but you're welcome to. <laughs> Not today. All right. Well, we want to give your husband as much time as he needs. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that being married. <clears throat> Let's share some announcements. Jean Garner, who fell up in Estes Park a couple of weeks ago or whenever it was, and uh, went home with her daughter to Kansas, and she's been in the hospital in Topeka, and, uh, but she was released from the hospital yesterday and is 
staying with her daughter in Clay Center, Kansas. Her daughter called me yesterday and said that Jean is improving, getting better, and anxious to get back to Greeley. Let's continue to pray for Jean as she recovers. She uh, uh, suffered a concussion and uh, some paralysis on one side, and uh, but she's, uh, she's recovering from that. So let's remember her in prayer. I have not heard if any of you are going to Denver on Tuesday. I plan to leave here around 10 o'clock after our men's breakfast at the Egg and I, which is at 8.30. And Eldon Johnson will be sharing our devotional at our men's breakfast. And as soon as that's over, I plan to drive to Denver to hear Franklin Graham on the steps of the Capitol, and I think that begins at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. If any of you would like to ride along with me, just let me know, and uh, you're welcome to ride along. I'm anxious to hear what Franklin has to say uh, on the state capitol. He's, he's going to visit every state capitol before the election time this fall, and uh, he's been having good crowds wherever he's been going. And so let's pray for his ministry as well. I went to the Gideon Banquet this Friday night, past Friday, at the Eaton Country Club. Had a good time together with uh, a lot of pastors. The place was packed out. And uh, maybe as many as 50 pastors were there. So it was a good time together. And we will be having the Gideons in our church on April 10. And they will present the ministry of the Gideons. And uh, you come prepared to give on that day. We will have, uh, what's it called, a retiring offering after the service. But we're looking forward to, the, to having them in our church. We are going to begin a discipleship program in our church. And uh, we don't have the exact day set. But it begins the week after Easter Sunday. And there is a sign-up sheet in the kitchen. And if you'd like to be part of that, and we're going to hear more about that, I believe, in the morning message. Uh, we're interested in developing disciples who know how to share Jesus with other people. And if you're interested in that class, it's 12 weeks. And if we begin the week after Easter, which is planned, it would run to the middle of June, 12 weeks. So if you're interested, talk to me about it or sign up on the sheet there in the kitchen. We will have a soup supper this Wednesday night at 5.30. Looking forward to that. There will be a, uh, a message from the Bible. We've been having a good time together on Wednesday evenings, and we invite you to come. Are there any other announcements that need to be made that I have forgotten? If not, stand up and greet each other. Would you do that?